Okay, so now we are live from the desktop. This way I can walk you through. Um, going through. That was weird. Walk you through uh, the simple steps of. Um, I'm going to pull this off. And let's see who's joined in. Say hi. Uh, screen share. Um, da, da, Google Chrome. Camera effects. There we go. All right. Robert C. Stern says, yeah, yeah, I am here. Tish is here. Hello, Tish. She says, hi, David. Hi, Tish. Okay. Um, so where you got, want to go, where can I put this? Um, I'm going to pin this. And maybe. All right, so where you want to go is right there for the camera effects. And then what you do is go over here to create a frame. And it's going to start walking you through the process. Go away. Just say get started. And this is it. The next frame is drag and drop your PNG, or you can use the upload art. I've just dragged and dropped. So if I do this right here and drag this in and it gives you um, and you can do layers um, so if I had something that I wanted you know in front of this or behind this I could do that as well Do, do, do. And then it gives you what it should look like if you hover over. It gives you an exam uh, an example of what it should look like. That's kind of interesting. And that's kind of small on the mobile. So I don't know why it's showing that way on the mobile on the uh, landscape portion. <clears throat> Thank you very much for sharing this, Tish. Did it put it on the bottom? Comments will block it. No, it didn't put it on the bottom, so if I wanted it way up here, and you're right, comments could block it, so you can stick it way up there and say, okay. So, I, you know, this is something new that you would definitely want to, um, let me shrink my window down, because I don't need to be as large. I'll stick me way over here, how about that? Um, so you can stick it anywhere that you want, and like I say, you can, you can do, uh, different ones uh, let's see if I've got another one so um, if I wanted to put this logo in there as well I could do that and stick this over here or like I say you can do layers I mean so you can see right there you've got layers um, it's interesting that it's only showing the one logo here Why is that? oh because it was too high look at that so it was too high um, I'm not sure if this is a beta thing that's going on. Um, I think they were more looking for a way for you to be offer, offer like color, you know, create your own colorful type frames. Now, one of the things is is that apparently these are open to everyone. Uh, they can search tags, so you can create tags uh, when you name the file. You can also create tags, and other people may be able to use it. But you know, if this is a logo of your brand or business and somebody else wants to stick that on their video, I don't know. And I haven't tried, uh, that, that's a question um, that I haven't uh, examined yet, but I suppose somebody could. So, I mean, that's, that's pretty much it though. And then you go through that process and you say next. 
And here, like I say, you can create a name. Actually, let's go back. So let's create. So let's get rid of that one. I want to delete that asset. Yep. I just want this one. And we'll stick that right there. And we'll create next. I'm going to say with colors because I have one that's also red and white. So you can create any kind of tags that you want. I didn't like me doing that for whatever reason. Uh, you can make the art, uh, you can make it active right away, or you can set a start date and an end date. So the way that this works is like, you, let's say that you've got an event that's going on. And so you want people to be live streaming from this particular event, um, uh, you know, and use this frame that you've created for everybody for, you know, social media month in Poughkeepsie. Uh, you know, and it's got a certain hashtag and everything that you'd like everybody to be able to use. Uh, you can create this and then give them, you know, everybody will have access to it and it starts on this date and it ends on this date. So you don't have to worry about it being used after that date. Uh, that's a you know pretty neat thing to do. And so all you would do is just, you know, what do I want to do? Add an end date, make a start date. You know, maybe you got a Black Friday thing going on or a Thanksgiving theme or Veterans Day or Columbus Day or Hanukkah or Chanukah or Kwanzaa or, uh, you know, wine event, I, you know, whatever. So you set something like that. And then when you create, uh, go next, you need to select an owner or you can select the owner before then. So you can say a certain page is the owner of this. Or you can say your profile is the owner of it and you go next. And then it gives you what the preview should look like, landscape. And with this and everything that's set up, it's important to note that once you click publish, you can't change anything. It's done. It's there. You can delete it, um, but you can't change it. So you can't go back and edit it after that. So you go and say publish. And again, they remind you once you submit your effect, you won't be able to change the effect name or attribution. Publish. And then they give you a cute little preview of what it would look like over here in the corner. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. So they say, okay, this is what it'll look like. And they got people rocking to your logo. And you click done. And that's it. And you can, now if you wanted to manage them, this is going to open up a second window. You can go in. And you can see all the ones that you've created. You can make them unactive. So you can turn them off. So if I don't want this one active anymore, I can say inactive. Or if that one was inactive and I want to make it active, I can make it active. You can also click on Create Frame and start again. So what do you think? Neat, not neat. There we go. Back to here. Yay, nay, something that you'd want to use, something useful. You know, again, it's for, uh, you know, adding a, another layer of, of um, if you're not used to doing stuff, then it's another layer, uh, you know, to add to the complication of going live. So you should practice going live before. But again, it's a pretty interesting thing to have, especially like, uh, you know, I can see it useful for not just, promote self-promotion but you know maybe you got a, a special offer going on and uh so you want to uh you know, and and you're not at your desktop and you're like you know i'd like to be able to offer this while i'm going live you know and so post up a discount code whatever it is a transparent png file apparently it'll post it up so yes complication carlos Anything that doesn't get you, you know, the more steps you involve, the more complicated the steps become. 
So Carlos says it's one button. It is one button to just go live. But then if you want to add the logo, it's touch here, press here, select here, do this. More steps, more complication. There's really not too much of an argument on that point. <laughs> so anyway. Um, I just wanted to show it. it like I said, it was something I just ran across and I was like, hey, that's kind of cool. Um, so I went live to actually see if it worked and it kind of worked. Um, I don't know why they were all showing over here on the side or over here on the side. Um, I don't know because I set it up the same way I just walked you through that one. So that's it. That's all I was going to do. Thanks a lot for watching. Thanks a lot for participating. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for being there. If you got any questions, let me know. I'll see if I can answer them. If you're watching the replay, give this two thumbs up. And uh, otherwise, I will see you all later.